Hello, everybody. It's been like how many years? It's been 84 years. I don't know what I'm going to be doing today. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, oh, God. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be transforming into what I'm known for. <laughs> Thirst trapping. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to show you like my step-by-step -step on how I get ready for my TikTok videos. And yeah, with no further ado, let's begin. So what I like to do first, before I do like a little bit of makeup, I actually do like a bit of like a skin prep. And this skincare slash prep is kind of like what I do before I get ready, like for a look. And I also like to do it at night before I sleep. So what I, what I like to first do is I use the Bioderma, as you can see, I use a lot of it, the oil cleanser. I don't know, I just, my friend recommended to me again and I've been enjoying it. Um, some people, they have like different skin types. So a lot of people might want to like, you know, what my skincare is. So just be aware that like my skin is usually like on the drier side. And for me, when I use like a lot of skincare products, it gets really oily. So this is what has been really working for me. But depending on your skin type and if you have any like skin allergies, just make sure to research the products beforehand just to make sure you're not having any like reactions. Because also everybody's skin type is different, so I don't want you to follow my skin type and come for me. But if you're gonna be my skincare, come for me. But yeah, so I'm gonna start by cleansing my face. Ooh, the forehead reveal. So I like to have a little shower cap on. Get the hair out of my face. Ooh, I look like um, a cafeteria lady. Want some potatoes with that? Okay. Honestly, I do, I mainly do this part of my face. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna lean into the <laughs> But yeah, so now that the face is nice and dry after cleansing it. I like to use a hydrating toner. I recommended by a friend. It's the Dior Hydrating and Glow. And okay. Okay, y'all gonna come for me. But I'm just, this is how I do it. So to each their own. This is not hurting anybody. Maybe mentally it could be, but people use like a toning pad. I just use my hands. I know it's dry on your hands, I think, but it's okay. So I like to like pat it in. Rub my hands and having it in. You're my honey bun, sugar plum, pumpy umby umpkin. You're my sweetie pie. This one is optional. I know people, you can use either eye serum, eye cream, um, it's whatever you prefer. I used to use this eye cream, but I switched over to the skin essence uh, ocular eye serum which is to target dark circles and to be honest i don't know if it works or not but i just do it it's the uh, what's it called what's that thing when you placebo placebo so i'm gonna believe it's doing something for me after i put the eye thing on i also have a rose hip oil that i use for the face I know what I like about it is that like when I apply like makeup on my face, it's like really like it's my skin looks dewy still. It's kind of giving a bit of that cream glass skin vibes. It's like optional as well. It's whatever you prefer because I know some people do have oilier faces, but this is just the Heritage Store Rose Hip Oil. I was using another one before. I think it was also from Skin Essence, but they ran out of it. And the person recommended me this, so I just been using it. And I like to use this as a moisturizer. So there's two that I usually use. There is the Walita Skin Food Cream, and there's a light nourishing cream and a, and a thicker one. So this one I like to use more so at night because I find it being too heavy on my face like when I sleep. And, but like either whatever is preferred. So this one's thicker and it's lighter. And there we have it. That's pretty much like my skincare. Um, if there's anything you guys recommend for me, um, let me know. 
but that's like how I do my skincare. So now I'm gonna get ready to do my um, my makeup that I do when I um, film TikToks or when I get up because this is the same same look I do every time I go out. But I've been actually using the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. So this is from Gaga's brand. And this is Tone 100 Light Neutral. I find this to be a perfect skin match for myself. I do like a little dab of it on my hand. I do it more in the area of where like my like dark circles or areas that like need to cover. It's also like, I find like it's a really light, it's like a really light um, coverage. I mean, it's full coverage, but it's like really light on the face. Like, it's not like heavy because some makeups that I've used don't remember the name. Like when I put it on, it's like, it's thick, you yeah. know? As you can see, it's like, it looks like it's barely on. Yeah. Looks like it's barely on, and that's what I like about it. I like it. I like my makeup to look like I, I like it's my skin. I don't really like to really cover too much, but to each their own. And then what I like to use next is the. Ooh, I don't know how to say this. Some pronounce this for me. G U E R L A I N Gorlain Gorlain It's the Multi Perfecting Concealer. I this one a little goes a long way and it's, it's actually really nice. So I do like a sometimes when I squeeze it too much comes out, but like literally like a speck. Ooh, I don't want to stick on my middle finger, but a speck. And just little, little, you know, like that. I don't know if you can see it, but I use my finger for it. Oh, I'm sticking my middle finger. Sorry, y'all. That's pretty much what I do for makeup, and it's like a really light look. And then I use the ST lot. Oh, sorry. The Sashido Eye Natural Eyebrow Pen in color G what y'all I'm not I'm not into makeup like this. I'm, I'm just saying because people be asking. Natural black G Y Dino one. So it's kind of, you should sharpen it first, but I just kinda of like to go into a little bit, just to darken a little. I think I have naturally thick eyebrows already. And I like to just color in here a little. Yeah, pretty much it. And then the final thing I like to do for myself is... Okay, I don't know if I should be telling you really this. Well, you didn't hear this from me. I mean, it is used for the body, but it's, it's not recommended to be near the eye. So, viewer discretion advice, don't do this, but I like having a fake mole, but I don't know if you guys can see this, so I do have a little mole here already, so I like to just kind of go over it, a little dot, a little dot here, it doesn't even show up on the freaking camera, but it's okay, so that's pretty much it for the face and then for hair okay people ask me how do i cut my hair all the time how do i do my hair honestly i kind of cut it myself i sometimes i get, I get it professionally cut but okay naturally this is how my hair looks y'all gonna laugh it's okay i'll give you permission to laugh It's giving emo. Love with an emo girl. It's giving mom is not a phase. It's giving Justin Bieber circa 2014. Oh, uh. 
whenever I get my hair cut, I don't know. No shade, but all shade. Every time someone cuts my hair, even myself at times, it's just the way I be built, the way my head is framed, my face is shaped, it's, it gives bowl cut. Like they cut and then just bowl. And I get depressed and then I seclude myself until my hair grows back again. So what I do for my hair, okay, so I'll film a separate video how I do my hair like, like naturally, but really for TikTok videos, I just wet it. Cause okay, the reason why I wet my hair is I feel, I don't know, I feel like I look good in wet hair, but like on camera, in real life, the wet hair look is, I look like a wet rat. So what I really just do, I just dunk my head. And then I dry it. <laughs> Does anybody else have short term memory loss? Or did I just be? Cause, did I even put... Oh, I didn't. Whoopsies. A little bit of the foundation on the forehead. Wait, did I? I don't know. Just to even the look out, you know. And then normally I put also, also I forgot to mention, I also put setting spray, but I ran out. So, yeah. So my wet hair, I just, I just part it, honestly. I just like kind of mess it up. And then I part it like this. Maybe I'll film a video of me cutting my hair next time as well, and I style like, I'll give you guys a whole rundown, if you guys are interested. But yeah, so I'll kind of like, make it like this. Move this closer. And that's pretty much it for the look, and then I put contact lens in, I put my jewelry in. Should I do that? Okay, here it be. But yeah, this is the full look. Just be half naked and then have a little jewelry, have your contact lens in. And that's basically how you become a bathroom stripper. Yeah, thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. Um, I hope this was not cringy and until next time, I think I'm gonna try to be more active. To see me, um, just let me know what other content you wanna see so I can branch away from my theme of thirst trap. I mean, after today, after today, obviously I'm still thirst trap time to time on my TikTok and stuff, but I wanna like start moving away from that. Um, but yeah, just let me know. Thank you so much. Until next time, love you guys.